Now, going to move on. Going to talk about my doll. Has anyone seen? Has anyone seen my friend Caleb, the, the talking doll? Really? You haven't seen her? I'm shocked. She's brilliant. She, she is a uh, internet-enabled IoT doll. She's got a microphone and a speaker on her and Bluetooth. The idea being is that she does speech, uh, speech to uh, text, does that on a mobile app, and then uses a third party, I think it's new ones, to do um, speech to text, and then starts to look at uh, what the child said to it, and then tries to respond. Um, she has no pairing pin over Bluetooth. Um, now, given she's Bluetooth enabled, got a microphone and a speaker, you can actually connect her up to your mobile phone and use her as a headset. Seriously, we've done phone calls on the <laughs> That's crazy. Um, and I'm sure you know, I did this talk to some police investigators a little while back, and uh, obviously it's illegal to use your phone to your ear when you're driving over here. And I asked them, well, what if I was talking to my doll? <laughs> I said, yeah, I think I'm going to arrest you. I'm not quite sure what we charge you with. But anyway, um, the box she comes in, uh, so I saw her in Toys R Us, and says, look, this, this is child safe. It's, um, it filters out swear words. Yeah, really? Oh, what an opportunity. <laughs> Could we bypass this anti swearing filter? So here's an explanation of how she works. You're going to have to bear with me. This diagram is nuts. So the first thing you can do, because she's got no pairing pin, she'll pair to any Bluetooth device in range. Encryption shall pair to anything. Obviously, if you're connected to a device concurrently, she won't talk to you. All you have to do is give her another audio source and you can speak to the doll. So you can be outside on the road and you can be connected to the doll and talking to a child through their toy. That's quite horrible. I don't like that at all. Um, but that was too easy, so we thought we'd have a bit of fun. And the way she works, so she does the, the voice processing over here on the mobile app, SQLite database locally that's got a bunch of stuff in. And what we started doing was taking apart the um, the database, and this is how she operates. So she's got about 3,000 questions that she can answer quickly. So if you ask her a question, she recognises, she'll look in that uh, Z child here, try and identify the text, and then respond. Um, she does this very quickly. A great example, you, you can see where um, some retailers have clearly been involved in her production. Have you been to a Target store before? <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, I like to shop at Target because of all the cool clothes they have. My mum lets me push the red car. Um, the problem is, is why she has a swearing filter. By the way, the swearing filter's over here. I hope you're not offended. There you go. That's what she's not allowed to say. <laughs> Brilliant. That's quite cool. Um, there's lots of different things you can do here. First of all, the anti-swearing filter only operates the stuff the child says to the doll. So you can just change the content of this, the question database, to say anything you want, and there's a few bits and pieces that she does. <laughs> I won't need that up too long. Anyway, the other thing you can do is, of course, you can simply remove the swearing words from the database. So you can just delete that database, and everything is fine. Um, don't you just love it? Right. Now, let's see if this is going to work. I have pre-recorded this. Really? Why do you have to screen my comment? Let's give it a go. Um, hopefully she will work. Hello. Or I will kick the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway.